Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating another video using Canva.com. We're going to be using the 30 day free pro features trial that they have to offer. And if you want to take advantage of that, you can find that link in the description right below. While you're there, do subscribe, drop a comment and let me know how you like to use Canva and what ways do you use graphic designing. All right. So today we're going to be doing a proposal for the marketing templates. So let's give it a shot. Let's take a look here. So of course, now when we come up to the templates, you're going to find that on the right side of the Canva home button right here. You're going to find templates. We're going to scroll over to marketing and go all the way down to proposals. We are going to click proposals and we are going to see all of the options. Of course, it gives you this wonderful with Canva templates. You don't have to write proposals from scratch. Save time with our project proposal templates, which help you put your best foot forward without exerting a whole lot of effort. All right, so they have two different categories, business and marketing. Of course, now they do have filters. The filters for the themes is business, corporate, startup, marketing, company, illustration, and more. So you're gonna see these fitness, mental health, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of those choices. And if you were looking for a specific style, they have those as well. Minimalist, photo, corporate, Right, professional, gold, light, bold, and even colors down here based on the color. All right, so looking for a proposal, design proposal. Let's see, uh, we're gonna click on one. If we like it, we can hit the heart. And once we hit the heart, it will save to your likes right here. And you can click view and it will show you all of the things that you liked. Of course, if you like this style, uh, some kind of, you can of course scroll down and see more like it business proposal right these as well uh, i'm going to exit out of this uh, marketing proposal that looks pretty cool it's kind of like all right marketing proposal it looks like some kind of business in goth international convention all right and you can click and this is only two all right method summary uh let's see scrolling down business proposal do let's see marketing proposal let's look at this one one of two pages all right, the same. Okay, so marketing proposal, investments, right? All right, let's choose this one. I'm gonna customize this template. All right, so uh, it takes about five seconds, not even five seconds, honestly about two, and we're gonna have it loaded up. So once the uh, template fully loads, uh, I like to make it bigger using the slider bar so I can see more in depth of what really is going on. So, of course, there's this pink color. Uh, I'm not a big fan of pink. We're going to change that up some. Uh, marketing proposal. Let's see sales. According to Wikipedia, a sales, right? Investments. You see all of the different writing here. That's really hard to see. Uh, even I think even if you print it, that will be difficult to see. So we can change all of that. Uh, we can change some of these shapes as well. And so let's give it a shot, right? Uh, first of all, let's change the background just to so you can see that the background here now, uh, you can see that I clicked. You see the blue borderline around here. That is your workspace. That, that is your area that you have to work with, right? And so this is your working place, um, that you're going to have. So everything inside of this is everything that can be seen. So if you try to put some kind of element or component outside of this area, it's not going to show you. Now you can use that to like kind of half it, I guess, uh, if that's what you want to do. Uh, so just to kind of give you forewarning. All right, let's give a shot. Now you can see free, it's a free template, right? If you see a crown right here, it is part of the pro feature. Uh, so you can get that free for 30 days without spending a dime. So go to that link in the description and you can take full advantage of that to do all of your designs uh, within 30 days. All right, so you can see on the left-hand corner, we have our tools. The tools do not change. It doesn't matter if you are changing uh, from a coffee cup design to a CV to a t-shirt to business cards, whatever, all of these tools, this interface stays the same. And that's what makes Canva.com really cool because Canva.com is not just about designing proposals. It's about designing t-shirts, coffee cups. You have Facebook posts, Instagram stories. You have your business cards, even just like your greeting cards or your holiday cards. You can create all of this together. So anything that you really want to design yourself and i mean anything you can do that with canva.com so really dive into that and start playing around today 
All right, so coming down, uh, I'm going to choose background, for example. When I choose background, these are the options you have, right? Uh, of course, with the background, you can you can use anything, right? So you can use the backgrounds that they have to offer, right? With all the shapes, gradients, abstracts, all that. They have a lot of options. So many that it's, it's like I'm still discovering some. And I've been working with Canva now for a very long time. So I still haven't found all of them. Yeah, so a lot of big choices. But you can also use a photograph, for example. So even if you take a picture, you can do that with uh, uploads. So when you come to upload, you're going to be able to design uh, everything that you create, uh, whether it be like, so if you take pictures, your uploads for your media. So if you're going to put, if you're creating something for, uh, let's say like an Instagram post or something, you're going to find all of that in uploads. So photographs you take, you can find that here as well. So everything that you're going to load and so uploads, but also you have pictures. So for example, if you don't find it in background, but you just want to look up a, let's say, let's go to family. Uh, we looked at this one before. So even if you're looking for a specific theme, you can just type it in here and you will see pictures and you can use that as a background as well. And I can show you how. Uh, and let's see, I'll show you uh, on a separate page. So I'm going to create a new page. It's just a blank page, right? And now I'm going to turn that white uh, here because it has the back background uh, initially. All right. So uh, going back to photos, uh, I'm going to go back to family. Uh, just to kind of show you this really quickly, just using photos, I don't think everybody really thinks. Uh, all right, now we see that. I want to stretch this out to the top. You see it kind of zooms, right? Uh, so we're just going to do that. And you can see I'm reaching exactly to the border. And I want to stretch this down some too. Now, I'm using this photo. Now, of course, I'm just using this one. So you can use this photograph in this way. Uh, so when we have this, you can see that you have these options. So uh, even here, uh, and I'm going to click and delete, and I'm just going to bring here, and I can crop it the same way. Uh, so I can crop it and make it big the same way, uh, but I can keep it the same. Do you see how I'm doing that? Right, so I'm just kind of creating it pretty big, and it just makes it bigger for us, right? And I can keep all of that the same by just kind of connecting all of that. So that's actually how you're going to fix that problem with a crop, with a crop. But it's not the best idea, but you can uh, do it that way. Uh, so we can drop here and you have. Now you see uh, that's one way to do it, but it does zoom in. Let's say if you want to make one, let's say this family, and you want to keep it the exact size without zooming in because this would be really hard. Let me show you. See, if you try to make it big, you don't have that. But right click the same, set images background, and it does the same, but it still makes it uh, a little difficult, right? So your best bet is to choose the background selections here, uh, and you can do it that way. Uh, I'm going to type in buildings because I want to change this, and I'm going to click enter in the search bar. Could it find it? Uh, all right, so city. And this is our background for the city. Now you can see that that changed up a little bit, right? Okay. All right. Now we can see, there we go. There's that one. And I'm going to change that background. Now we dropped it up a little bit. All right. So this is the city. Uh, and you can see that it kind of has uh, the lines here. Now when I have the background, I can actually change this up a little bit too by clicking on it and bring it forward and bring it to the front. And there we go. And what that is, is what you're seeing here is the, there we go. Now we have it. And I'm going to delete that. All right, that's the transparency. All right, now, as you can see, as we're doing the colors uh, or doing the background, the colors that are selected here, like this pink, is really bad. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to click. Now, once you click on it, as you can see as a whole, there's the heading and the subheading. Uh, to double click on it, and now you can see. Right now you can see that text. So let's change this to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the color to, let's see, green, for example. And I just want to say, there we go. Prepared by somebody. And I'm going to even, ah, uh, no, 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 no. All right, made this mistake. Okay, perfect example to tell you how to fix your mistakes. Click the undo button. All right, now I have this. And here I'm going to change it 
to uh, purple, right? All right, and let's see. And I want to make it bold because it's still hard to see. All right, so I'm just throwing some colors just to show you, right? The marketing proposal, the same thing. Uh, you will just hit delete, or you can change the font in, in itself to something different, right? Let's say Horizon. There we go. And I'm going to change the size of this marketing proposal, right? There we go. All right. Now, like coming to this image, you see there's two pictures here. We could change this one to another color. So you see there's two color palettes here. Uh, that's because there is actually two elements inside of the element. Uh, we can change that color just like that. And so changing the color here, I'm going to change it again to maybe this blue. Change this one to this green this time. And just kind of change it up. And I'm going to double click and make bold and italics. All right, so now we have that. Now, for example, you can see this element, it moves away from the um, uh, the text box. So uh, how you can keep it, if you just want to lift it up and you like this, uh, actually, you'll just highlight everything, right click, and you can group, typically group them sometimes like that. Do you see how we're moving that up? Now, because it is grouped, and right click, and you can animate them and choose uh, is there. there we go. So it's grouped together. All right. So now this box I'm going to delete and I'm leaving the text in itself and I'm going to change the text to black this time. And you can just leave it like that. Now pretty, pretty bland, right? So now let's get into changing something else. We can choose elements uh, and lines and shapes. You have a lot of choices. So they had the square. You can choose squares, circles, right, this. It's just pretty simple. Nothing like too uh, outlandish. Now I'm going to drop it here and now we have this one. marketing proposal and now we have this color green and we can change it again too to something that we prefer uh, coming to this blue. Now the white's hard to see. I'm going to change it to probably the same blue color and I'm going to double click and make it bold and metallic as well. So Heisen Electrics Company, right? So now we have that. So now we just changed it up a little bit. Now, even if you want to come back to elements, uh, you can actually go back and choose some different ones, right? So they have charts. Even if you want to add a chart to it, you can. And you have this chart. And you can do the percentage, line weight. So you can kind of do all of this if you want to add a chart. And you can see it here. And I'm just going to click and send it backwards. That way it sends over. And because of that color, I can change it to blue, the same, or purple, or gray, right, the same blue. So I've just created this own design just using that. Uh, if you like this design, uh, for example, let's say for this one, you can always rotate them. All right, so I'm going to move this kind of like that. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to rotate too to do it this way. So you can rotate the images as well. All right. And so uh, with a lot of these things, you can always uh, really play with them and see what fits you the best. And I'm going to move this over and have it centered. If you notice, you can see these purple lines. It allows you to kind of really center everything up. Uh, so there we go. It's kind of somewhat centered. All right. Now we have that. And I let's say I'm going to come down. And I'm going to align this text just a little bit. And the same. So you can kind of just play with it here and how you see fit. All right, so now you have that option. And the same for the next page. You can just do all of the same. And honestly, with all of this, regardless, it doesn't matter what. This, can exact, this proposal can be even for a Facebook post or Instagram story or an uh, Instagram, and that can change to your business Instagram, your personal, whichever. So if you have a business and you have a marketing proposal and trying to catch somebody and you have a lot of followers, for example, you can animate these things too and post them. So that's what's really cool. You've probably seen our other videos, and if you haven't, go and check those out. Uh, because when when we're speaking about like an Instagram post or anything, all of these things can be multiple use. So example for like a business card, even you can share those on those same deals. You'll just actually download it 
as a different kind of format. So with when we're speaking about like uh, we're talking about posters, for example, you know, for your home. If you're speaking about um, business cards, holiday cards, you kind of want to use like the PDF format for that uh, because it makes a better quality picture typically. And so you can also download them uh, differently. Let's take a look. Coming up here, you can see the arrow going down. PDF print, right? So you have uh, for PDF standard, which is just basic. If you're just really writing something with more writing than pictures, uh, PDF standard is great. Small file size, multiple page document, the same. High quality, multiple page documents. So uh, if anything, you have a picture that you really want to have very extravagant, beautiful, and you really want to have this smooth, cool texture, PDF prints the way to go. Uh, JPEG, the small size, and PNG, right? Uh, you're going to have that high quality image. So you're going to be able to do this. Now, for example, when we come, and we're going to step away for this just a second, and we're going to come to Elements, right? I'm going to click and look. Uh, for example, as you come down, you can see there's a lot. Uh, see, like these, you can kind of go over white background, right? different ones. Uh, graphics, like for example, if you want to use some graphics for this, uh, they're going to move. Some of them are going to move. You can see that. So, of course, you can save them. And it's just going to be still frame, and sometimes it may not save. So, uh, you want to save it as MP4, right? So, for example, like if I do this, right, with this here, uh, I'm going to make it smaller. I want to change the name of it, right? And you always want to change the name. And let's see, right here. Okay. All right. We're going to change the name to this right here besides share and the play. Uh, you're going to change that name. To mine or my or mine uh, let's say PDF right and this is without this though so this is uh, just the regular format for a marketing proposal uh, and if I want to download it that way I will do PDF print with the just plain regular because I'm going to give it somebody just paper right if I'm going to do it for Instagram I want to put every all of these here and save them as a mp4 video uh, which is better so make two of them uh, you can save this one and then come back and use this again and just save it as a uh, mp4 so if you're not going to use any graphics it's really better to just download it uh, as the original text file of it first and then come back and if you're going to use it for uh, the graphic design with the movements for Instagram then do the same just you can just change the name a little bit here and the play speed you can see we're going to check this out right and you're going to be able to kind of see what that looks like here and you can print the letterhead all right <clears throat> i'm going to close that out all right so that wraps it up here so the download so all of this you can see that you're going to have so many different choices between designs for cause the coronavirus right bold footage you have those as well uh, now we can kind of keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, right? And here we go. Uh, so you see all of those. Now, if you're happy with this, I'm just not changing all of this because you already know how to do it with all of that. If you want to add text, you'll add text on the left-hand side, and you're going to start with a heading or a subheading and a little bit of a body. And they even have like recently used like uh, text here. It's just like the you know, font uh, designs that you kind of create. So you're going to be able to do that. Now, uh, once you're fine, you can download it, and I just showed you where, uh, or you can print it and actually have them print it for you and send it to you. Right? So when you do so, you can do all pages, or just one, double-sided, single-sided. Uh, 50 copies starts at 5250, uh, and it goes all the way down to about 710 bucks for a thousand copies. So they'll actually print it for you, and you can choose what kind of paper they're going to use for you, uh, standard paper, premium paper, right? Of course, uh, you can choose all of that. Now, if you download it yourself, of course, you can print it. If you have a printer, if not, just put it on the flash drive, take it somewhere, they'll print it, or you can print it there, and there you go. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. How did I help you graphic design something? Let me know. All right, until then, I will see you next time, guys. Right, cheerios.